New updates today on that tragic theme park death in Florida. A forensic engineering and analysis firm has been brought into this investigation to figure out exactly what went wrong. What went wrong when 14 year old Tyree Sampson fell from the 430 foot tall ride? Stacy De Silva was there as authorities gave an update on what they have gathered so far. Yes, Nicole, we're here at the memorial and amid all these photos and messages are repeated calls to have this ride shut down permanently. It's one of many actions being discussed. And today, the Florida Agriculture Commissioner said it will all depend on her thorough and transparent investigation. The death of a young budding football star from Missouri could lead to major changes in one of Florida's biggest draws, amusement park rides. We are going to do everything in our power and including potentially increasing our power um, to make sure that something like this never happens again. Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed says the state has hired the firm Quest Engineering and Failure Analysis. The firm will help investigate how 14-year-old Tyree Sampson fell to his death last Thursday night while riding the Orlando Freefall attraction at Icon Park. The Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services inspected the ride and signed off on its permit before it opened in December. At which time, no deficiencies were found. But Freed says the state has no authority to question safety protocols on rides. Instead, it must rely on the ride manufacturer's manual. A vast majority of the statutory oversight refers back to following the manufacturing guidelines. Um, so our power is limited on following the manufacturer. Sampson's family said he exceeded the weight limit listed in the manual. The investigation could result in the ride's permanent closure, fines, or even changes to state law. I committed to filing the Tyree Sampson bill in the legislature that would address the problems that are identified. Representative Thompson said one of those changes could be a seatbelt requirement. This ride that drops people over 400 feet at a speed of more than 70 miles an hour has just a harness, no seatbelt. The ride is closed while the investigation is underway. Back to you, Nicole. All right, thank you, Stacy. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.